let me navigate. Okay, so let's, oh, that's not the one I wanted. Hold on, I got it wrong. There we go. Right, so let's go through each of the different health types. This is going to be like mind blown. Take some time, sit there and think about your loved ones. Um, I hope to goodness you guys have had the 10 day booster and found out what each of your family and members and friends are so that this will be so much better for you to understand your friends and family and where maybe there are some little idiosyncrasies that um, might help you in your conversations moving forward and, and how your relationship unfolds as a, a friendship or whatever it might be. So the activator, paradoxes and priorities. Activators, their main hormone is adrenaline. This means that they are driven, motivated and thrive on adrenaline. They are the go-getters. The paradox is that activators like to move but can burn out if they do not rest. Adrenaline can be continued to release even when it's all, even when they're like at their like high, high, high level, it'll just keep releasing and releasing and releasing. But rest and mindfulness will help activators to downregulate this hormone, hormone to prevent burnout. As you can see here, um, I might actually do it this way so you guys aren't getting overwhelmed by written content. Although some of you guys might actually love that. Let's stick with it. So your chronobiology. These guys can be active in the morning and bursts of energy throughout the day need to be followed by rest. Exercise needs to be frequent, challenging, coordinated speed and high adrenaline. Um, short bursts. So the tips are short bursts of intensity for longer endurance based work um, can be used to help channel frustration or stress to assist mood. If you have an activator who is moody and aggressive, they probably are not um, catharting or utilizing their energy sources effectively to get rid of the tension and the built up of adrenaline so that they can go again. So get them out moving. These guys with their food, um, it's a large, I'm going to pop these into, I'll pop these documents into our program, into a unit or at uh, the bottom of this unit all by themselves. So you guys can go back and have a read. Um, a large variety of, no, uh, sorry, uh, these guys have a large variety with natural sugars and lean animal protein. The carbs and the protein are their friend. They do need to limit their grains and their dairy. Their body thrives with a lot of antioxidants. Because they run on adrenaline, they're burning through so much constantly. So a massive uptake of antioxidants and fatty acids are massive. They need to work on getting rid of the red foods. And I mean by that, going into your food list, you'll see excellent, good, blah, 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 uh, good, excellent, great, good, um, okay, avoid, and all the rest of it. Let's look at the red list and find out how many things we can eliminate this week. And this is the conversation to have with them. Get into your list. What can we eliminate this week that's not good for you so that we're having less red and more green? Make sure that you guys are eating from your good list as much as possible. Um, their social um, aspect is that they are capable and strong and very independent. These guys are actually kind of introverted as much as they may seem like extroverts at times. They will have an extroverted energy and then quite often will have to, like their physical component, have to go back and recharge in an introverted way. Um, they love diversity and variety. So um, shifting and changing is really good for them. Must be able to express themselves though. And they need time and quiet. Uh, they need social time and then complete quiet time to recharge, like I said. Their environment, they naturally enjoy sunshine. Visual stimulation, they are the hot and dry climate. So South Australia, eat your heart out. It's where all the activators need to be. Um, mood is uh, negatively affected by dreary environments. So do not go to um, England and spend time over in Europe. You will end up a very sad human. Uh, they need to add colour and visual stimulation. Grey days, they need to make sure that they are doing things like learning and distracting themselves from the weather um, and, and find those days as they they bunker down and do the work stuff. And then when there's sunshine and stuff, get out and absorb it. Uh, the mind likes stimulation and variation and, determined and, and they can be determined and disciplined. Um, they learn through pain and see it as a stimulating growth. They really do learn by pain. Um, they are critical thinkers and sometimes can, um, these guys are the argumentative ones and debaters. So they are risk takers. They don't like following rules. They like to bend and break things, but really understanding that mindfulness can help to prevent burnout. Um, it should be, sh uh, should be short, but can also be an active thing, like something rhythmical, so like yoga or walking, things like that are still a mindful practice and still are a recovery phase for them from their natural aggressive go 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 kind of attitude 
The genius is that they are great coaches, teachers, and leaders. They like to be challenged. They like to create change. They love learning and sharing and problem solving. Um, they're very, uh, they, they are quite pioneer-like, very similar to crusaders because they are right next to them. Um, illness can occur if a job is repetitive and they feel like their ideas don't matter or they feel repressed. Do not repress your activators. If you have an activator child or partner and they come to you with an idea, shut your mouth and let them speak. Hear them, hold the bucket, let them get it all out. These guys are incredible when they are allowed to, are allowed to express themselves wholly and solely. Let's go on to connectors. <clears throat> so connectors, their main hormone is oxytocin. Oxytocin is what we get from puppy dogs, looking them in the eye. It's a natural thing. They love eye connection with each other, uh, with different people. Just like a puppy dog does, it builds trust. They love to trust in people. And unfortunately, they can get hurt very easily from that too. Um, but we also want to make sure that they are continuing to understand. It's like, um, these guys need to be fickle. They need to be like, Oh, you're fun and friendly. Okay, uh, we're done now. Okay, now over to this person. You're fun and friendly and amazing. Oh, burn that one out. Okay, let's go over here. These guys will do well and do do well um, in, in open relationships and open friendships where they can jump and bounce between their, their connected people. Um, they don't want to generally spend too much time with the one person. They spread themselves thin. The paradox is they spread themselves thin connecting with everyone. Uh, if they invest time in fewer, closer, more meaningful relationships, their desire for oxytocin would be satisfied. So as much as they do well with lots and lots of friendships, they will need to have a couple of friendships that they can really come back to and reflect on why that friendship is so beneficial. Health type priorities in list, and these lists are in, in, um, in order with each of the health types as for their, um, their main priorities. They need to be productive in the morning, active in the middle of the day and avoid carbs in the evening. I say that again, avoid carbs, carbs in the evening. Their mind likes variety and fun. They're easily distracted. Boring things and sedentary things can frustrate and depress them. They will talk. They are talkers. They think out loud. Um, they are, it's really important for them to have great relationships with their friends and family. This is their, their main, um, backbone for their, their their mind support and their social support um spend time each week with it they need to spend time with this, their friends each week and have fun a fun venting session like just hold the bucket throw everything in the bucket with no um judgment just get it all out will help them to really cathart that kind of negativity out of their lives these guys are also the ones that sadly will actually put on a brave face and seldom show the truth of what they're actually feeling they will probably have only one or two friends of which they can actually speak their mind to and um, in saying that, they need to really, really um, have that person they can vent or else they'll hold it back and this will end up becoming like this, this, this heavy fog, this heavy um, disconnection from society, which will lead to manic, uh, rather varied stages of depression. <clears throat> Social, they prefer to share time with family and friends. Uh, they like to trust and be friends and be active. Um, enjoy being a part of a group who shares meals and exercise. It's really important, especially while we're going through the COVID-19 Corona stuff, um, is that if you have anybody who is a connector, please make extra, extra, extra time to connect with them. If you feel safe in doing so, maybe invite them for food with you so that they have someone to connect with thoroughly in different ways, because it will be very, very important for them. Um, also, really, really important would be um, if they are eating alone and you can't get them to you, Maybe you could do like a Zoom call like we do with our calls and whatnot and set up a video conferencing call with them so that they can see you and communicate with you whilst they're eating their meals. It will be very, very important for their mental health right now. Uh, they're very adaptive. Their environment enjoys visual stimulation. Um, they like things to be, to be aesthetically pleasing in their environment. Mild or warm temperatures with sunshine. These guys are the sunshine children. Um, and it's important to increase their social engagement if there's less sunshine because their sensitivity to light variation creates SAD. Uh, there's another acronym for that one, but basically they will get sad if they don't have enough sunshine. So they need human connection to fix that. Their genius. Um, they care about other people and they like to be appreciated. They're good at sharing multiple points of view. They're good at doing multiple tasks at once because they are quite shiny object-like and they can be really good at finishing their projects. Don't discredit that. They're actually incredible at multitasking. They're great at sales, being a teacher, a manager in customer service. These jobs will really, really suit them quite well. <clears throat> their fitness, they can move all day. These guys love variety and fun. 
their bodies quite often will hold a little bit of a buffer of excess weight and their body can actually be the most resilient at shifting that weight unfortunately but that's because they're the fun friendly ones and they love to be out there amongst people they love their best way of training and doing their fitness is in a group setting with two or more people and having it be variety variety varied um do not Try not to, generally with these guys, you wouldn't tell them what you're actually doing beforehand. You would actually just spring it on them and they would love the fact that it's a new game, a new thing, a fun, mysterious game that we can figure out along the way. This is how they thrive. Food is their last priority because obviously if everything else is working out fine, then they're actually going to be doing okay with their eating and eating will become a much less lower component of stress on them because the rest of their life is rocking and they'll just choose to do better things um, and or be working it all off. Um, they need to enjoy a wide variety of food. I generally say with my connectors, go find some really nice plates to eat off of. Like, and present your food really pretty all of the time. They do need to avoid refined sugars and grains and high heat oils. Antioxidants are really good for them. Um, like I said, eating with friends and family is super important. They are not habitual eaters and will generally eat whenever, whatever's around them. Uh, protein is very important, but they must avoid stimulants for most of the day um, to keep them balanced. Moving on to, let's go center. So sensors, they are run on vasopressin. So these guys are big, big thinkers. Their brain is a massive stimulation. They can get overstimulated very easily. Um, their priorities with their chronobiology, sorry, their paradox is that they sense, uh, when sensing everything helps them to create sensing uh, safety, but they need to stop sensing everything so that they can rest. So it's a double-edged take. So it's um, these guys are like, flock of flamencos they have to stay on all of the time because if a big threat of a, of a giant cat comes running at them they don't they can't fight their way out of that they have to be on alert all the time to fly away and protect themselves that's what they're like in all aspects of their life so they are fast but not always effective digestive systems they will eat small frequently meals just like a bird their mind is quite often weighed down they have heavy heavy thinkers they love all of the information they will have all of the why questions the greatest thing about working with sensors is generally we can give them all of the information and they will happily take it and wander off they don't need lots of extra touch points and guidance if it makes sense they will do it the only thing i would say for a different for a sensor is to make sure that they don't have an overstimulating life around them with uh you know make sure they've got warmer uh, surroundings there's low noise dim lights um, minor distractions when they're in work zone they like to spend a lot of time alone on tasks and are good at working on complex concepts as long as they're not distracted if they are hyper stressed it's really important for them to take little windows of break and uh, and go move breathe um, shift their energy um, and move their spines particularly they are very very susceptible to mercury and metals and drugs and caffeine big time um, their environment needs to be, like I said, very warm. Um, they do very well in humid climates. So um, Mackay and above in Australia is super awesome for our senses. Um, then, uh, yeah, making sure that's, um, extra care should be taken in winter. Make, these guys are the ones that have to have scarves and jackets and everything with them to make sure that they are staying rugged up. It is vital that they do not get cold because it will stress them out more than anything else around them um they can even do things like changing their light globes from bright bright white lights into soft evening lights they are highly susceptible to coffee coffee drugs and alcohol like we said before and sugar exposure can result in the sluggish mind and depleted energy and mood swings so if you are suffering this guys it's very important that um you really check yourself before you wreck yourself on what stimulants you're taking that would be upsetting the enzymes in your digestion um Things that would help with um, digesting their proteins would be things like papaya and pineapple and citric acid things. So always check your food list. It will give you a great indication of what is best for you at the moment. These guys are great at digesting protein, but it must be in tiny portions and super, 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 super well cooked. So slow cooks, um, casseroles, stews, things are really well easily digested are amazing. Remember, we want to keep them less in the stomach and more in the head with ease and comfort. These guys are great with mental stimuli. Um, they need a calm, stress-free environment and they can take on the world. These guys are incredible. They are 
accurate and concise and everything you give them needs to be sequential and logical and ordered or else you are going to stress them out and overstimulate them. Socially, they tend to, they, they will have a close knit of friends um, and they do, some of them will be closed off and not want too much physical contact because it will overstimulate them just on, on that alone. Others may have done a bit more self-development work and will actually be far greater capable at, at socialising on a greater capacity. Um, so, and I have a couple of sense of friends who love big, gigantic, deep hugs and, um, and hearing all about their beautiful friends around them when they're in social zone or when they're not in social zone. They go home and they shut their door and they stay quiet. <laughs> uh, exercise, heavy weights and straining on the spine and joints is best to be avoided for these guys. It's about light, low impact, repetitive aerobic activities which engage the mind such as dance and ballet and yoga and cycling. Um, we'll, they'll also enjoy things with balance like surfing and, rock, and free rock climbing and things like that. They can exercise alone or with others just depends on how much flow and logical sequential order is done within it. If they are doing weights, it needs to be light, high reps, not to fail, uh, sorry, to failure for muscle growth. If they want muscle growth, so it would need to be high reps until they reach failure. Um, short births just short births daily. They could do in like smaller batches of exercise to reduce overwhelm. If they are overstimulated, it will help flush the toxins from the body and the mind. Crusaders, their main driver is dopamine. These guys are just focused and on a mission. They want to succeed and achieve because it feels best to do so. Their paradox is that they constantly want to achieve more without taking time to step back to acknowledge the achievements they've had already. Who do you know that's like that? This can lead to overworking. Um, this leads to overworking to achieve more which then ends up taking a tax out on their body. They can be impatient, skeptical and rigid and driven to succeed, disciplined and reasonable. If they're unbalanced, they will be unreasonable. Um, they have a strive to control mental and emotional energy uh, and they can sometimes be in, unable to adapt. They, are, they get pleasure from mental stimulation. Like a, a cool fun party for these guys would be to have their computers out with their mates doing a, a geek out session, like a study session or something like that or a work a thon. That's a geek out session for these guys and they're totally loving it when they're on their mission. Genius, they like to do something meaningful and important and they, they may seem selfish, but generally you will find it will be for a greater good purpose if something greater than themselves. Um, but they will sometimes be a little selfish in the meantime, um, trying to create the thing. Um, they can remain very intensely focused for very long periods of time. These guys need to take a break in life every three to six months and replenish themselves for a couple, good couple of days. But they will go like a Trojan horse in the meantime. Place. These guys enjoy sunshine and expansive spaces. Maybe a little bit sensitive to wind. So you'd want to have them uh, northern sun, New South Wales and above, but not too windy. Uh, probably off the coast area. Uh, but they do enjoy... Uh, fresh air such as mountains and sea breeze as long as it's warm so keep them in the northern hemisphere northern part of Australia and they'll be doing good we prefer to be organized and efficient at home and in their workplace it doesn't make sense for these guys to have chaos so they will generally work ways of not having chaos and even if that means that they have to hire a cleaner and a chef to do all the stuff for them so they can stay focused that's usually quite a big um, recommendation for these guys fitness they like long, rhythmic and consistent exercise with calming mobility. These are the cyclists. These are the long distance runners, long distance swimmers, massive ballet, bloody marathon people. They're, very, they're less adaptive and they like things to be more repetitive. Um, the, un, the, the more predictable something is, the less stress it will create for them. They are light to moderate weight, failure based they need a lot of rotational exercises because these guys can get stiff through the spine. They can become very rigid in physical and emotional and mental capacities. Um, their food, they have a high metabolism. These guys are the ones that can eat pizza and lots of carbohydrates and stay skinny. This would be my housemate and her partner. <laughs> these guys can have a lot of carbs because it actually feeds their amazing brains. Um, if they get too much stimulation, and their foods are low in minerals. So if they eat crappy food, uh, have a bad diet, and they are overstimulated, this will lead to a sluggish mind, terrible energy, and a terrible mood. They need well-cooked food constantly, and this will help give them the energy and the, 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 the mindfulness to soldier on. 
socially these guys can be really really social when it suits them when they've done everything else and they have nothing else that needs to be done they will then become these social i've got a couple um i've got a couple of uh, crusaders who are the biggest social butterflies when it's convenient and then they become absolute workers on hobbit hermits away from everyone when they're on their mission so they can be a little bit of both next we have let's say guardian so the guardian's main one is prolactin and they are very insulin sensitive this is why guys we have a recommendation to have minimal Pro, uh, minimal proteins and carbohydrates at night time because they stimulate insulin which stimulates growth hormone which stimulates you putting on extra weight because you are stressed due to life in general so have your mornings and night times as calm as possible um your mornings can have more food but your night times will have um less food and more family connection time the paradox is that they, they need to have before they do but they will likely give first and that is because you guys will, and this is where the body's natural reaction will come into safety zone. So you will give, 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 give wholeheartedly without giving to yourself first, which then means your body will go, uh, uh, sunshine, I'm going to hold on to everything just in case you might by chance continue to keep giving like you always do. And then you potentially might leave me with nothing. So these bodies will create excess weight from thin air just about to keep them with the energy and the reserves to be able to function. So if you are not eating properly and you're having bad carbs at night time and you're drinking is a thing um, and you're wondering why you're holding excess weight, it's because your body is saying, you know what? I don't trust that you're going to keep enough for me as well as keep giving to everyone else. So I'm going to hold on to everything that passes your nose and passes your lips because I just might need it. So socially, their their people, their crowd, their friends, their family need to be protected. These guys, their biggest thing is they need to have their finances, their environment, and their home, and their people and their tribe safe, or else they will feel under threat, and their body will naturally conserve every skerrick again, just in case someone needs them. They have the largest digestive tract and the slowest metabolism, so you actually can miss meals. I know quite a lot of guardians who actually live on one meal per day at lunchtime, and that is it um i actually even know of a guardian who eats once every three days and he's actually really really healthy all of his levels are perfect and he's actually really quite lean and fit which is amazing um these guys need to have good pleasure and taste in their food it needs to be visually centrally um pleasing um because they get a lot of sensualness from their food not a, quite as much as a diplomat because a diplomat will do it for themselves these guys are just in general needs to be quite nice um they need to avoid protein and carbs at night um avoid food after dinner time avoid any high gi stuff um at breakfast and between between 10 to 2 is the best time for carbohydrates and reduce all things that are marked as a red food immediately and try and stay away from them exercise 30 to 45 minutes light aerobic three to four times a week for good blood circulation to remove toxins and your lung capacity is one of the biggest things we need here to get your lungs pumping because that will then help to filtrate out any toxins that are sitting in the body um, exercise these guys need to be underweight they need to be feel heavy when their body feels heavy their body will release weight um, so heavy strength training as much as possible uh, a bit of light cardio more like a marching cardio and if you could find a weight vest for these guys a walk every afternoon with a loved one would be amazing at keeping them in good health their environment they suit cool dry places um they're they are adaptable and very resilient to everything um but like they like forest areas and can handle wind so this would be like um new south wales inner new south wales um upper victoria lower queensland is okay for these guys um they don't like too much humidity though these guys will be greatly affected by too much humidity their mind is easily easily satisfied and content and they'll quite often you'll find them sitting and just chilling with the family observing everyone quite often they'll just want to these are the ones that would prefer really to sit on the couch with the kids and just chitter chatter away and spend time um they are very loyal loyal and don't like change they're dedicated but too much mental work is very damaging for these guys. These are the carers and the nurturers. So get them, get them doing the stuff that is caring and nurturing for the tribe. Um, they quite often can become workaholics if their tribe has become their career. If their family, their loved ones or their career 
family, they will be dedicated to the cause and they will just about kill themselves in their role uh, to serve the greater good of their tribe and their community. They can work very well under stress um, for quite a long amount of time. If, if their co-workers and their people are um, putting in the extra effort, these guys will definitely put in the extra effort, but they need to remember to give first to thyself so that they can be there for others in the long term. Last one is diplomats. Serotonin needs clarity to make decisions, but also needs to take action to be to gain clarity. This is the ultimate paradox for us diplomats. We are procrastinators. Procrastinators. I don't know what to do. Can't do anything because I can't figure out what to do next. Yep, just take some action. They are we are place is our main priority and we are adaptable and tolerant to warm or cold, uh, but they don't tolerate tolerate dryness and colourless environments. This explains to me why South Australia was depressive to me. Red dirt, grey plants. Ugh. And it was dry and colourless and disgusting. <laughs> so tips are declutter your spaces. Start with your room, your home, the, any spot that's causing you stress. Then start to make sure you have beautiful colours, nice ease and flow, everything in its place, and you will feel amazing. Keep your doors and windows open with lots of fresh air. We are loyal. Our genius is our second thing. We are loyal and productive and best in low stress, steady routines that can off, um, so that they can have, they'll often have a, a long-term career unless you're someone like me who has a fair bit of crusader and connector in me. And I am, I have had many different careers and I've been trying to find something that really is meaningful. Diplomats love to have work that is meaningful. The environment shouldn't be too overstimulating. Um, massive deadlines and changes and quotas and demands can be so, so counterproductive because it would just feel like the weight of the world is on our shoulders. Be careful, diplomats. You will quite often leave everything to the last minute and that final pressure is quite often, sadly, uh, what you need to get things done, um, which ends up costing you so much more in the end. So try to, try to create a plan of attack and stick to it. Create little windows of time to get things done throughout the project and don't leave everything to the last minute. Plan your space and time. Plan your space and time. Time and space is everything for us. Exercise, can exercise alone or in a group. Um, needs to be enjoyable. You guys, we, we resist pain. We will often remember that something is painful and then therefore choose not to want to even start to do something if we think it's gonna be painful. Ugh, we have to let go of that because it can quite often be our, to our detriment. Training later. Don't go training first thing in the morning, my diplomat friends. It will only lead to fluid retention, joint issues, brain fog, emotional reactivity, and poor eating choices in the rest of the day. Just don't do it. Just find a way to find an hour in the afternoon and go do it then. Avoid failure-based training and hit in the mornings. Um, plan your schedule for the week and know when you are going to need to exert that energy. We naturally will conserve energy and avoid pain or discomfort. So again, everything needs to be fun and enjoyable. Food, we are the sensual beings. We will lower our, we are contradicting ourselves in that though, because we will actually ruin our mood if we are not eating well. Low sugar, we have very, very poor sugar tolerance. We are tempted by pleasure all the time. We are the most sensual beings that there is. Um, need to be, uh, things need to be easy uh, to get our results in a reasonable time frame. We have a very slow digestion, not as bad as the guardians. So we can actually miss meals if we wish to and have fasting. Fasting is great for us. If we want to wait until later in the day to have any food, that is absolutely okay. And you may want to just break your fast with a tiny piece of fruit. Poor nutrition can lead to low moods, lethargy, irritability, couch potato mentality. So stop eating crap food and make sure you eat good food diplomats. I'll kick you at the bum because I need to do it sometimes too. We do easily fall off the bandwagon and all on a slippery slope but the biggest key i can give you think about this everything needs to be high vegetables high vegetables high vegetables what do i have high vegetables what do i have high vegetables that is your main protocol for your eating high vegetables high vegetables high vegetables lower your animal protein you do well with protein at breakfast and or lunch but it doesn't need to be huge amounts of protein that will put lethargy it puts strain on lethargy in your entire being, it will strain your digestive system. We are very social beings when we're in a balanced state and we can be the life of the party if we choose to. Many of us will be very outgoing and expressive like I am, um, but some of them will be a little more held back depending on where they are in the wheel. Um, 
we can be pleasant and easy to get to get along with in most situations where we'll generally sit back sometimes you'll see us sitting back at the edge of the room and observing everybody and and appreciating everybody trust me it's appreciating everybody not being judgmental and then other times we can actually be right at the front in the middle of the conversation hyperactive super involved um so diplomats are the most varied with that but um as long as we are happy and balanced if we get agitated we are the bison we take a lot we we hold a lot but if you piss us off and you get us riled up look out potentially actually just run away run away a bison a diplomat who is riled up is a force to be reckoned with just like a guardian actually they are very guardians are very protective so are diplomats we thrive in the outdoor areas and if our mind is slower uh, it's generally because we haven't had enough outdoor time. So give your mind plenty of rhythmical activities, plenty of time to switch off and declutter um, and come back to a friendly uh, balanced state. Make sure you've got good people around you so that you can keep in a positive frame of mind. Um, we are okay to be alone a very a lot, but we also do like to have lots of friends and family. We do dinner parties things, and things like that very, very well. Plan everything in the nighttime for the next morning so that you don't have so much chaos. Woo, we did it. Great work there, guys. I'm going to just give you guys a second to breathe because that was a lot and I think that was amazing. I hope you guys loved that little bit of awesome conversation. Um, any questions, pop them into the chat uh, because I want to hear what you guys think of that um what came up for you what felt good what did you enjoy what questions do you have who do you have that is represented in there who do you have um in your life that you could totally see relating to some of those 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 points in those different health types exciting stuff so let's go into resilience how the health types play a role in the actual why. Why the F are you doing it? Why are you doing this? Why are you sticking at this program? Why to the table? Please keep on with the, um, the fortnightly group calls. Um, and also know that once you've gone and finished your, your segment, your spot, there is the option to come in and do continue on. Um, it's just going to be $87 a month. That's not much per week, $87 a month. You've got two coaching calls per week. You've still got time to use up all your one-on-ones. Um, get to it, guys. <laughs> Love you.